By this time, just about everybody in the country has put forth an opinion as to whether or not Bob Costas over at NBC was appropriate in using Sunday Night Football as a platform to advocate for gun control laws. Well, not only was it appropriate, but it was completely relevant to the news of the day in the NFL. Javon Belcher, Kansas City linebacker, tragically and sadly killed his wife and himself, leaving his daughter without parents. Now, what we have here is the gang over at Fox and Friends taking up for the NRA. Gretchen Carlson, one of the premier members of the gang over at Fox and Friends, made a little argument. She thinks that, well, Belcher would have just tried to strangle her to death. He could have still tried to kill her. Yes, but Gretchen, please, would you rather someone try to choke you to death or you'd have a fighting chance? Or would you rather try to outrun a bullet? Sometimes those bullets are from point blank range. Once that bullet goes to your heart or your brain, you have much less chance than, I don't care if it's the toughest, biggest, strongest football player in the world, you're going to fight for your life if he's coming at you with your, his bare hands. Or even with a knife, you have a better chance. Can we please get past that part of the ridiculous analogy? Now, as far as Costas is concerned, this man has been in broadcasting for what, 30 years? He's always been known for injecting politics because that's his role in the sports broadcasting genre. That's what his own show was about, and that's why Sunday Night Football gives him commentary at halftime because he goes outside the lines and talks about the social, the economic, and the political issues that go beyond the boundaries of sports. And this certainly qualifies as a time where someone's going to even risk their own career to do the right thing and just say and give a heartfelt opinion. He has every right to do so. It takes a lot to get to that point. And if I want my opinions to go out to more than, what, 50 viewers, then I'm going to have to work a 100 times harder to get where he is. So the man has every right. He earned that position. He gave his opinion. And he's being drowned out by the right-wing Twitter sphere, he's being persecuted, when what we really should be doing is taking heed to the argument of what are we going to do about this violence in America. You can't stop it, but you certainly could make the weapons a little bit less lethal. So, as for the gang over at Fox and Friends, keep up the good work. Continue, continue your um, mission. And... Over here on the peaceful side, we'll continue ours.